Hey YouTube, I'm doing a quick video here on uh, my hydroponic Dutch bucket pails, how I set them up or get them figured out or whatever, make them. What, what do I want to say? Yeah, make them. Anyway, uh, what I got here is a, I think it's about a two gallon pail. Yep, two gallon pail and uh, works out really nice and a nice size and everything. They don't cost me anything. My daughter works for a pizza place and they put sauerkraut in them. Uh, crazies around here actually have sauerkraut on their pizza, yep. Anyway, I love it. But uh, anyway, I take and I drill an inch hole with a, yeah, here it is, a hole saw on the end of a drill. I drill a hole about the center of it's about two and a quarter inch up from the bottom of this. Then I put a grommet in. It's a little fight getting it in, but uh, it's not too bad. The grommets are from, uh, everything that I got is from like a big box. Uh, the one I get them from is actually Menards, but here's the Gardener and Bender GB grommets, GH, G1575. But they are three quarter inch, yeah, focus. Three quarter inch grommets, whole grommets. I almost have to replace these every year because they're in the sun and they do crack on me. And uh, they're not a very expensive item. Uh, you get three of them for, I think, around uh, a buck or so. I think you can probably get them a little cheaper uh, in uh, bulk somewhere, but that's what I use. And uh, once I get that done I just take some uh, PVC pipe and this is half inch thin wall I'm not sure what the difference is between if you look here I've got some thick and I got some thin here uh, the thin I think is a little cheaper and I did it doesn't matter there's no pressure on here anyway then I take a three inch I take and cut them in three inch pieces and then I put a little bit of uh, of uh, dish soap on so they slide in here easy. And then on the inside, I have another elbow. And what happens as the thing is emptying out, as it empties out, it will uh, suck up from the bottom, siphon out, I should say, uh, everything for except for about an inch of leaves on the pale bottom. And then uh, after that is all put together, and everything I put in a paint strainer a five gallon paint strainer these are three packs these aren't too expensive either uh, I get new ones every year because I just don't want to spread disease from year to year uh, if you get these in bulk to it it, it brings it price down I'm thinking these are two something for a three pack so yeah, it's kind of expensive, but uh, some of this stuff, uh, you only have to replace certain things every year. Once you get this set up, you don't have to replace anything except for that crazy rubber grommet that cracks. And I'm sure it's sunlight that does it, and maybe chemicals. But that's how I do my Dutch bucket pails. And, and then, oh yeah, I, I keep the lids for them. And then uh, the lid is actually used to, uh, I'll drill a hole in the middle. And... Uh, the lid is actually used to keep the, uh, um, um, what do I want to say, it, it keeps the hose in place. Uh, I wish I had three inch holes in that. Uh, that's why I'm going to drill in the rest of them, but uh, those happen to be two inch. Uh, I'll just have to live with it. Uh, three inch seemed to work a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.